I don't know what's in your life that God is strengthening at this time. But the strength of God is reaching to you right now. Receive the strength of the Lord. Hello, everybody. Trust you are doing well. Thanks for making it. Rush Shane Douglas, Hope of Glory Ministries on this YouTube channel. It's a blessing to be back with you yet another time. And I want to speak to you this morning about a topic. God wants to strengthen the things which remain. I don't know the weak things in your life that God needs to strengthen, but the strength of God is reaching you this morning. So while you're coming on, remember to like, share, and subscribe to this channel because guess what there's a blessing that awaits you in this season so if it's your first time remember to hit the subscribe button if you're watching this video remember to like the video share your comments and share this video with your friends your family everybody that you know because i know that god wants to strengthen the things in your life which remains stay tuned a word is coming at you I love this song. You are my strength, strength like no other. Thank you, Jesus. Strength like no other. Reaches to me. If you believe it, touch yourself tonight, touch yourself and, say, tonight and say, you are my you are my strength, a strength like no other. God is your strength, strength like no other. The strength of God is reaching to you right now in this moment. I know that God is strengthening your spirit. The word of God says a broken spirit and a contrite heart the lord will not despise found in the book of psalm 51 i don't know what's in your life that god is strengthening at this time but the strength of god is reaching to you right now receive the strength of the lord your strength doesn't come from man but your strength comes from the lord your god it's God that gives you strength. Nehemiah declared in the book of Nehemiah 8 that the joy of the Lord is my strength. I know the joy of the Lord is your strength. I know that the strength of God is made perfect in your time of weakness. In the power. So get ready to hear tonight's devotional theme or devotional theme. And of course, it's our convocation theme at the Lighthouse Assembly 1 Garbola Drive. And the theme of her con convocation is strengthening the things which remain. Strengthening the things which remain. Just before we go into this morning's theme, and it says, unto the angel of the church of Sardis write, these are things saint that had the seven spirits of God the seven stars i know thy works that thou hast a name that thou livest and art dead and verse two verse two which is our theme of scripture which it says be watchful i don't know who's listening at this time but this is a command from the lord your god be watchful Somebody say it again. And strengthen the things which remain that are ready to die. For I have not found thy works perfect before God. Even though your works are not perfect before God, he wants to strengthen those dead situations in your life. Those weak areas in your life. You've been saying to God in recent times that, God, I keep falling in this area. 
I'm not improving in this area spiritually, but God says in the season and this time, he's strengthening those areas, your weak areas. There are some specific areas in your life that God wants to strengthen this morning. He wants to strengthen those areas in this moment. Wait upon the Lord. Be of good courage. And he will strengthen your heart. The word of God reminds us in Isaiah 40 verse 31. But they that wait upon the Lord. You have been watchful. You have been waiting. You have been serving. The word of God says in Isaiah 40 verse 31. But they that wait upon the Lord. A renewal of strength is coming to you. It's a season when you thought that God gave up on you. God says to tell you is with you. As the scripture reminds us in Romans chapter 3 and verse 23. All have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. But God says he's strengthening those weak areas in your life. The Lord is strengthening your prayer life. You have been saying, man of God, my prayer life is weak. My worship life is weak. My relationship with God is weak. But God says he knows that your relationship is not perfect. He knows that your prayer life is not perfect. He knows that your worship life is not perfect. But God says in a time like this, the fact that you're still saying God is going to strengthen you. The fact that you're still loyal to the church that you're going is going to strengthen you. The fact that you're, you're not going to divorce your husband. You're not going to divorce your wife. God says he's about to strengthen that relationship. I'm here to remind somebody that weeping may endure for a night. You have been weeping. You have been crying. You have been experiencing disappointment on disappointment upon disappointment. But God says, get ready for your appointment. Get ready for a comeback. Get ready for a breakthrough. Get ready for a mighty deliverance. Now, the Lord wants us to remain. Notice the word of God says, he will strengthen the things which remain. The word remain speaks of endurance. Come on, the word remain speaks of endurance. We're living in a season where it's not easy. It's not easy to endure the testings. It's not easy to endure the trials. But God says he's giving you the strength to endure. Have you ever been in a race where, or maybe you're jogging or doing something where you're at that moment when you feel as if you want to give up? But God says, keep pushing. And it's deeper. <laughs> I'm going to tell you to type these words. If you're on YouTube, if you're on Facebook, wherever you are and you're watching me at this time, to me. you're listening to me on the FM band. I want you to type these words, man of God, I'm pushing. Lord, amidst all that I'm experiencing, I want you to type these simple words, I'm pushing. In order for you to give birth, then you have to push. In order for you to experience the hand of God and that mighty testimony that you're longing for, that mighty breakthrough, you have to push. And you're saying to yourself, how am I going to push when I'm experiencing these pains? And that is what I want to speak to us concerning going forward as it relates to devotional themes. The old aspect of pain. Now, the Lord has given me a lot of peas recently. The first P the Lord gave me is purpose. Purpose. Notice the man of God, John. He was on the Isles of Patmos, which is another P. 
Now, he was experiencing pains and afflictions on his Isle of Patmos. But the revelation of the Lord came to John in his pain. Now, pain gives birth to power. That's where the anointing comes from. Whenever you're experiencing pain, it means that God is setting you up to experience his anointing and his power. And when you receive God's anointing, when you receive the strength from God, what God is doing, he's giving you a platform. I don't know what you've been experiencing recently. I don't know the setbacks that you're experiencing in your lives, but I know that God is setting you up for a great platform. So notice the P's. The Lord reminds us that there's a purpose on your life. In other words, he declares in Jeremiah 29 verse 11, he says, For I know the plans I have for you. In other words, God has a plan for you. So God starts with a plan. Now this plan includes your purpose. Now, whenever you're, you have purpose on your life, you have to go through a process. After experiencing the process, during the process, you'll experience pains and sufferings. Now, the pains and the sufferings, it will give birth to power. You will not give up on God so easily. When things come to buffet you, you will say, God, I will lean not to my own understanding. Mighty God, you're in that situation at this time and you're not leaning to your own understanding, but you're acknowledging that God is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that you could ever ask or think. You're feeling sick in your body and you're saying, God, I'm healed, delivered and set free. The, the enemy is coming at you like a flood, but you declare that the Spirit of God is lifting a standard against the enemy. The enemy wants to afflict your body. The enemy wants to afflict your health. But you're saying, God, by your stripes, I am healed and made whole. You're releasing positive words in the atmosphere because the word of God reminds you that life and death are in the power of the tongue. So amidst all the weaknesses you're experiencing at this time, you're declaring that even though I'm weak in the flesh, my spirit man is gaining strength. So I want you to declare these words in the song. Lord, you are my strength. Your strength comes from the Lord. The Lord who made the heavens and the earth is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. The Lord is strengthening those that remain. You've been listening to Love 101 from morning until now. Of course, we would have experienced the good news of um, Tropical Storm, Elsa shifting away from Jamaica. Maybe it's not so good because you experienced some flooding in your home. Maybe you had some you know, challenges on the road. Things didn't work out the way you wanted to work out. Maybe some clothes up on a line, you know, the rain, whip up the clothes on the line and so on. I know things, simple things like these can buffet you at times. But be reminded, as Romans chapter 8 and verse 28 says, And we know that all things work together for good to those that love God to those who are called according to his purpose. My final word to you, don't give up on God because God won't give up on you.
I hope just you enjoyed that video just now. God wants to strengthen the things that remain in your life. Let us pray. Father, I thank you for strengthening those that are watching this video or those who watch this video. I pray, God, that your hand will be upon them in a mighty way. You will heal, deliver, and set free. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Again, my name is Roshain Douglas. Of course, you're tuned to my YouTube channel, Roshain Hope of Glory. Roshane Douglas, Hope of Glory Ministries. And trust me, I know that God is up to something in this season. He wants to strengthen you. Remember to give me a strength. Yes, give me a strength by subscribing to this channel if you have not yet done so. Like this video, share it with your friends. And I know that God will bless you in a tremendous and in a marvelous way. Stay tuned. More videos are coming in Jesus' name. Amen. And amen.